Good day. I am here to take you through our investments idea on Brookfield Asset Management. The group is currently trading at a 55% premium to the S&P Financials Index, which is significantly higher than the 24% long-term average. The significant fee-bearing capital should provide steady, reliable income and should be further supported by sufficient liquidity and sector diversification of earnings. Cash generation is expected to remain stable due to management fees, which includes long-term contracts in renewable power, long-term regulated contracts in infrastructure investments, and long-term leases on its office and mall real estate portfolio. The significant real estate exposure could have a material impact on the group should there be a further deterioration in the property sector, as real estate constitutes 29% of our intrinsic value 35% of group operating income and 23% of fee related earnings within the asset management operations. The asset management division is likely to be able to stave off negative market movements thanks to its significant assets under management levels. However, the real estate exposure does remain a concern. As at 28 July, the group was trading at a approximate 15% discounts to our intrinsic value. Our calculation was performed on the main segments of the group, being the asset management division and the listed investments as shown. While this shows that real estate is only 4.26% of group value, it is worth noting that the real estate sector makes up approximately 24% of the asset management division and 27% of the unlisted investments, thus bringing the total real estate contribution to 29%. We feel that the near-term downside risks from COVID-19 on the real estate operations outweigh any potential near-term re-rating towards the implied share price. This, combined with the historically high premium to peers and to itself on a forward-looking price-to-book basis, the strong contribution of real estate to overall funds from operations at 35%, 25% of total implied value contribution by real estate, and the poor degree of value creation as indicated by declining ROIC over WAC, we feel that an underweight recommendation is appropriate. Total assets under management is over $540 billion, with fee-bearing capital totaling $290 billion. The 61% acquisition of Oak Tree led to a $110 billion increase in fee-bearing capital, thus providing further stability to asset management fees. Infrastructure and real estate are the largest contributors to fee revenue at 30 and 23% respectively. Total fee-related revenue was up 6.4% to $1.2 billion. The outlook for 2020 remains difficult to predict, given the ongoing uncertainty surrounding COVID-19. Management is, however, confident in the outlook for the UK despite Brexit and believes that the impact on London will be minimal. The recently completed 100 Bishops Gates should provide approximately £40 million in annual cash flows. However, this may be subject to change due to the ongoing pandemic. The privatisation of the retail mall property business led to the acquisition of 125 parcels of land, on which the group intends on developing many tens of thousands of residential, office, hotel and storage properties. The scope of earnings diversification should provide the group in managing the ongoing volatility seen in the financial markets. These financial market movements can have a significant impact on asset management firms through total assets under management and on net client cash flows, which flows through to fees earned. The diversification of capital within the asset management business should assist in providing some downside protection should the volatility persist. However, the strong real estate contribution at 19% of fee-bearing capital 
does cause some concern. Before I end off, if you would like to trade, then please contact our trading desk. Investors are reminded that they can refer to our online trading platform, which contains a more in-depth analysis on Brookfield Asset Management. For more information on how to interpret the trade idea, visit the events section on psg.co.za to access previous trade ideas and how to understand the method of analysis we use. Lastly, I would like to bring your attention to the following disclaimer. Thank you very much.